This is an old corn sheller that's it's been converted from a hand crank to an electric motor driven one. Nobody around here has shelled corn using this style of equipment for since the 1930s. But you can see it's a it's a basic it's a basic housing. There's three shafts that run through the middle of it um, with a wooden frame. You can look down. You got a a drive gear down the bottom that keep that catches the um, catches the material and drives it down. Not sure if I can spin this enough to to show you what it looks like. Let's go the other way. Okay, the drive gear takes the corn cob down, pins it, pins it against the scarifier bar. And then the wheel with the teeth over here is what scuffs scuffs the grain off of the um, uh, off of the corn cob and puts corn cobs straight down. Actually, it puts the grain straight down, and then, and it runs the um, the corn cob straight out the back. I'll show you what it looks like out back. I've got as much light turned on here as I can, but it's still it's still tough to see. Okay, here's the here's the back side. There's the back side of it. Ouch. Bees are out. Scuffing bar, scuffing bar comes up, scrapes all everything off. But what it also does is it, uh, as you can see by them two dried out walnuts that are in there, uh, when the husks are wet, that bar right there will, will scuff the, the holes right off the, right off of them. Right now they're dry, so the only way they're going to come off is if you if you, is if you beat them up. If you handle walnuts in big quantities, we've got walnuts, a lot of walnut trees here. I've got five uh, mature walnut trees here, so we get quite a bit. Once people hear that that you're willing to um, process walnuts, they'll they'll come up. You'll never knew you had so many friends. I came across a poacher site this spring, right when the snow came out. There were three dead beer, uh, deer carcasses, and they left a little portable grill. So, a little portable grill belongs to me now. It's still, the little propane canister on it's still half full. So, yay for me. I got a box of Got a box of old, old carpentry tools. There, uh, there weren't any such thing as a cardboard box way back when. Food, food all come in. You see up there on the top, top shelf. That's a box that carrots came in. That's that's a. Uh, shipping box for I'm not exactly sure what not exactly sure what that company made but it's a deposit case so they wanted it back there's box up there for for apples still got the label on it I've got some other ones um, 
other ones around that uh, that one had writing on it at one time. I'm not exactly sure what it says anymore. Some of the ink writing is goes pretty dim after a while. Right there in the corners. Ammunition case for Remington. Focus. There, focused. Remington Arms Express. Uh, six and a half inch. It's not, that's not what it says. Fourteen. Anyway, there's 500 shots. 500 shotgun shells. Shots in there. I did have a Velveeta cheese box up here at one time. I'm not exactly sure where it went to. But, anyway, back to farm equipment. This right here is a single single seed planter. It's, was ma it's made out of two, two wood planks. It's made to as as it gets used and broken it's it's made so that the wooden parts can get removed and moved on to new pieces of of lumber what you do is you pull these handles apart and as you can see down here as you pull the handles apart it moves that bar right there and right below that bar if I can get the light right right below that bar is a is a little metal chute that goes clear down to the bottom and then there's a little hopper up here at top hopper up here in the top that uh, oh man get my flashlight Hoppers up here at the top that uh, there's a little notch in a little notch in that bar that comes across. It grabs a seed, pulls it clear out. As it pulls it pulls it clear out, it drops it down that chute into the ground so you got you've got the the planter with the closed jaws you stick it in the ground it's got a seed in it that's dropped down in there and then you open it up drop the seed you make the hole and as you pull it up it, the seed the seed will the dirt will close around the seed and then you would do this over and over again going down a straight row I've got a much more efficient garden seed planter. They they would use this to plant uh, at the time 25 30 acres of corn was a was a big patch and they'd spend weeks planting corn. One seed at a time, one row at a time. They'd run a big string line across the entire field and then they'd walk across and uh, and make sure their rows are straight. I've got lots of lots of stuff. This came out of a farm elevator. It's a brass tub. Bottom, the bottom is loose, so it doesn't hold water. What it's meant to do is it's supposed to work with this um, with this brass scale arm and. As the grain would come in to market, they would pull a little bit of grain out and um, put it in there. They'd pull a measured amount of grain out, put it in that bucket, and then they would weigh it and compare it for um, uh, moisture content. Elevators don't like to buy water, 
but at a certain point, um, at a certain point, you're you're selling just dried up grain that isn't that isn't um, worth anything to anybody anyway. So it's a trade-off. Usually, about 15 or 16 percent is where is is where you want to market your 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 grain. These are different. These are different carpenters' tools. Some of these, I'm not exactly sure what they do, like this one. I believe this is meant for scraping a... Um, this is meant for scraping a... Uh, um, a groove, a keyway groove, into a, a, a wood shaft so that you can uh, put like a wagon wheel on. Here's metal tool. That's a handmade metal tool, and I believe that's for um, installing window screening. We've got hand hand planes here that um, have specific shapes, and they're all custom ground. I've got three or four of these, and these are for. Um, for one example is cutting the tracks in um, window sills so that you can open and close window tracks. Got big got big planes, got smaller planes, got planes that are in pieces, got a real narrow plane with the uh, with the blade and the um, but anyway, they're old, and uh, where they were at, they were going to get destroyed. So um, now they're in where it's dry. I just haven't got to the point where I can clean them up and restore them yet. Well, my lunch is burning. I'm going to call this one short.